All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. Welcome back. And today we are going to be making a... Um, a pet game icon there is a lot of uh, pet games out there so um, this is how to make an icon with it I'm using a free model as you can see so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to export it um, so just click here we're just gonna hit export and just name it whatever you want and save it to a destination where you can find it let me go ahead and save it I'm gonna call this um, pet yep and now we are going to head over to blender once you're here standard procedure just hit a x and click on delete we're going to go to file import wavefront object and find your uh, and uh, just find your object and hit import right over here and as you can see first things first go to the object set origin origin to geometry right over here and i'm just going to move it to the middle all right, all right, all right, go into your rendered view right over here. Make sure your engine is on EV. We're gonna turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. Now, um, as far as the face goes, I usually prefer to do them in Photoshop because I think um, just doing it in Blender is just really inconvenient. So, yeah, first things first, let's add and XGRI so environment texture hit open you can download a lot of XGRIs online just google them up all right go to your render settings go to film and turn on transparent now click on your model and hit tab on your keyboard or you can just go up here go to edit mode and go to face selects and we're going to click on the blue part of the wings as you can see here there is some glow so click on this and uh, hit tap again to go back to object mode or to go back to object mode or you can just click here and you want to go here and change surface to emission now you can turn this up and we're just going to change the color to a blue just like that and uh, do the same thing this time for the wings but for the wings we are going to try maybe glass um um if we were to do an actual uh if we were to actually lower the opacity and make the wings actually like this right over here it is a bit more tricky um as far as blender eevee goes so if you really care about that effect in particular i think it's just better to um do it in photoshop so also for some reason these horns are not on the model but that is fine um, now we're gonna select this thing and hit select this mesh part is the emission you can just hit assign and it will assign this to the same material adjust the base material right over here turn roughness um, specular turn this up something like this right and um, I mean these we don't we don't really have to worry about those that much or right, so to finish this off let's add some sunlight so shift a go to light find Sun hit GZ to move along the z-axis we're just gonna aim the Sun and GY to move this aim this towards this direction we turn this up five 25 25 uh, move this up sideways and you get some very nice lighting very nice and we could go to our render settings we could turn on I mean we could adjust this but oh, that's a little bit too much no what am I doing five this is the bloom um 
All right, so that is it. Um, actually, we gotta add a camera. So, Shift A, go to camera, hit zero on your number pad, and just zoom in, scroll wheel, and uh, we're just gonna move to our pets right over here. All right, and just angle it however you want. We're just gonna go up to file, render image. It's gonna be done pretty quick and go to image save as save it as whatever you want so I'm gonna go pet render hit save and now we are going to move on to Photoshop so I will see you there all right here we are in Photoshop um, I am using this file from the previous icon tutorial so let me just break this down real quick um, Blue color background, we have a sun rays, you just go online, look up sun rays PNG on Google Images and you will find some. And uh, this is just a pen tool shape with a shadow clipped into the layer and new. So let's import our pet image right over here, let's scale this up, just like that. Alright now let's add some effects to it, so right click, blending options bevel and boss you could just copy my uh, my settings um, let's go out of glow turn this up select the same blue there we go drop shadow turn this up same blue this time go to linear dodge and actually let's go overlay there we go we could go inner glow Inner shadow, um, same blue, screen maybe, screen, alright I like this, alright let's add some effects, alright let's add some kind of lightning, I'm going to use the 7k pack by i5k, right over here, let's go to cartoon effects and electric. Alright, let's see which one of these is going to work the best. Let me see this one. Alright, this one could go behind, right over here, as you can see. Um, yeah. This one. There we go. Um, this one is not terrible. Let's put this right here. Alright, and I'm going to make a new layer. Select the same blue. And I'm just going to go over this. Just to give it um, a bit more bloom. Screen and let me all right. Now, as far as the face goes, um, if you're making a game with a pet, the person that draws or designs your pet faces should have the pet face on a um, separate layer or should have the face as an image. So, all you have to do is just so all you gotta do is just add it in. Obviously, this one, <laughs> um. It doesn't match the, um, you know, the pet thing, but it's, uh, but, um, it's just an example. You could mess around, you could use this to get rid of the whites. But, uh, yeah, that's how you make a very, very cool pet, um, game icon. On the background, we can change the color if we add a hue saturation on top of it. Just drag the sliders. Actually, I don't want to change the new thing, so I'm going to put it right here. As you can see. So, pick a color combo that you like. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out our website, jfxcarbon.com. 
we got a lot of templates we got a ton of stuff so make sure you check that out and make sure you use the code youtube and i will see you all next time and uh help us get 3,000 subscribers thank you